Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis, Rockport, Texas at the Festival Grounds. They're uh, having a uh, barbecue cook-off this weekend, and the benefits go to the Aransas County Boys and Girls Club. They'll have uh, different categories, best brisket, best ribs, best beans. Uh, there's a hot dog eating contest, a watermelon eating contest, uh, three-legged races, uh, there's going to be a uh, live music, uh, live bands and a DJ and, uh, it's early in the day. They're, uh, still setting up. So maybe we'll swing by later and, uh, hopefully they'll get a good turnout and raise some money for the boys and girls club. It's technically open now, but, uh, looks mostly like things are just getting set up. I think it's, uh, $7 to get in for adults. I'm not absolutely positive about that. Great weather for it, though, and uh, normal people that enjoy doing things socially would enjoy that. <laughs> Sissy Taylor. Good morning, Sissy Taylor. You ready? Roll my intro. Okay, I think I see some deer down here on the left. I've been looking for deer guys over in uh, the country club in Rockport, and that's usually a great spot. And I just haven't found any lately. I think I saw him right up in here. Yeah, he's waiting for me. <laughs> well, that's neat. That was nice of him. Oh, he saw my camera. He doesn't want to be on YouTube. Beautiful. Well, there's one, guys. Oh, there goes the second one. Okay. I uh, pulled into Goose Island State Park here. I need to top off my uh, water. I have an awesome six-gallon water jug from um, Maryland. And I use that for uh, cleaning up and dishes and stuff. It's non-drinkable, but it's good to have. It's a free source of water. Well, I shouldn't say it's free. I have a park pass, but... Nothing's really free, is it? Just cruising the uh, camping areas. Sometimes you see some unusual things back in here. Maybe we'll run into uh, something just like this. There's a home build for you. That looked really familiar, like I've seen it on YouTube. Or maybe I've just seen similar ones. I don't know. There's a big blue bus. Big blue camping bus. Did we see that at Port A a couple weeks ago, or was that a different bus? I forget what color that is. Hmm, that's interesting. You do run into the same uh, people a lot at different places. Or at least I tend to. I hear a lot of birds. Just in the distance, none right by the road. You have to keep an eye out for them. I thought this was cool. This almost looked like a scooter. Well, it is a scooter, but three-wheel electric. Guy's got it all pimped out. Pretty neat looking. A lot of people got their uh, hammocks set up. This little uh, tent camping area back in here. And this has been empty since last August. I think I've, I may have seen one or two in uh, the last nine months camping back here, but there you go. They got their kayaks with them. Empty. They're tent camping. Some people bring so much stuff. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I bring everything I own with me, so I can't really complain. Here's a nice little setup. Simple tent out there cooking for the day. dodge the cars here. Mosquitoes are bad, guys. 
I think I might uh, rather be down by the water today because there is a breeze. It's uh, 79 degrees, 16 mile an hour winds, looking at that game trail. And I noticed a little uh, flower assortment we have. Very pretty. Can appreciate some flowers back here in the woods. What are these guys, anyone know? They're pretty, I like those. Yeah, we got some white ones down here. Well, maybe we'll head over and check the beach side by the bay. Well, we're not out of the woods yet, guys. Okay, now we're out of the woods. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of the woods and get down by the bay, get that breeze going, keep the mosquitoes off of us. Hey, what's the difference between a lawyer and a mosquito? Well, when the mosquito is done with you, you still have a little blood left. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do when I come over to this part of the park is to check out the different RVs that are here every time. I don't know a whole lot about RVs. I've seen people do reviews and uh, I think they're neat. And I know I don't fit in most of them. I'm a uh, six foot six. But uh, a lot of people enjoy them. I always wonder if parking right on the bay like this is a good thing or a bad thing. It seems like a good thing, but it's not like there's a beach there and you're getting that uh, direct 16 mile an hour wind. You can see at least over here, I, I don't see down at the end I see some people but no one's outside you know no one's outside enjoying it everyone's just in their RV which you you could have done at home Ooh, Airstream Ooh, they have a canoe but I guarantee you they're not going out in the bay today in that canoe <laughs> would be nice if they uh, took it over to where it's shallow and there's little inlands and stuff you can get into, which would be calmer today. Yeah, but no one's sitting outside. Look at you people. Outside and everything. No one's just sitting outside reading or talking. Maybe maybe up the other end we'll find some people. But there's a guy and a little boy. Yeah, it just seems like a, a different place just to go sit, you know? but you're still inside even if you're in your RV and you're in a new spot I guess the view changes out the window we're at the opposite end of the little uh, T here where they have the uh, newly done and very long fishing pier just keeps going and going it's got lights on it at night so uh, that's a nice feature if you're into fishing but you can see right along the bulkhead here it's pretty choppy and I have the mic on my side of the glass with the window cracked or else you would just hear pure wind check out some more I do see some people sitting outside up here and they're uh, kind of using their uh, RV as a wind block so yeah see how they have the truck parked and everything so at least back in the trees and, and the brush, you got that wind block, but then you got mosquitoes. So pick your poison, everyone. There's another Airstream. That's pretty nice. A couple empty spots, but they say reserved. They'll probably, maybe they're coming later. I see that a lot. I can't imagine paying for a site and not coming. I mean, that many people decided not to come. And I've never noticed this these group of trees behind the uh, restrooms here. That's pretty neat. I've come by here like a, a hundred times in the last year. Yeah, just it's gorgeous. Thought I'd come over here real quick and check things out today, guys. Always find some interesting stuff. Just that time of year where the birds didn't want to come out and play. Well guys, leaving the uh, Goose Island State Park, uh, gonna head over to Rockport Beach. It's starting to clear up and I think we'll get a sunset tonight. Back at Rockport Beach, 
the golden hour. See the long shadows? We got about 40 minutes until sunset. Clouds don't even look real. That looks like a painting or some CGI thing, you know? It's really neat. I should just film everything the last hour of the day. <laughs> Would certainly free my days up, wouldn't it? Yeah, sometimes in Texas, when you film middle of the day, the colors are washed out, but you get them early in the morning, late in the evening, you get some uh, interesting uh, contrasts. I guess that's everywhere. I remember the Grand Canyon, the sunrises and sunsets were spectacular. And then during the day, I mean, it's still fabulous. It's the Grand Canyon, but it's not the same, you know. So I did my little video yesterday about what's my deal. I did leave out one story. Um, my daddy left home when I was three and didn't leave much to my mom and me. But an old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. Now, I don't blame him because he run and hid. But the meanest thing that he ever did was before he left, he, he went and named me Sue. Wait, no, that was Johnny Cash. That was Johnny Cash. That wasn't me. I'm sorry. Sometimes... uh head injuries hear the skimmers barking the skimmers and the seagulls do this thing where they just take off randomly and go crazy and then all land around the same time and it's not because they're threatened it's not because I'm near them uh or else they obviously wouldn't come and land in the exact same spot. When I was at the beach, uh, I got to see skimmers come. The, the, the waves come up on the beach, and as the waves go out, the skimmers came in right then. And they would put that uh, lower, uh, lower mandible of their bill just slightly touching the water, looking for fish. And uh, that was something to see. I've never seen them do that here at Rockport Beach and of course they must but I've just never uh, seen it I'll just check on the sun every once in a while it's amazing how it's dark there where the sun is and then behind us where the lights hit and it always looks lighter when you uh, turn things around yeah I'm gonna check and uh check the weather and check some availability in the state parks maybe go on a couple three four day trips and then uh get on the road for a few weeks do my big loop that i did last year to visit people i also wouldn't mind going uh depending on the weather a night or two during the week at port aransas just to just to do it it was nice and i have a lot of uh wood to make a bonfire so I really need to make a bonfire and cook us some uh, s'mores I didn't make a bonfire that last time uh, I stayed overnight I don't know why I was just enjoying myself and honestly once it got dark I was ready to go to sleep I didn't feel like staying up for a couple hours with a fire I'm old get off my lawn <laughs> yeah really nice guys you get a good crowd that comes out here every night. I see a lot of the same cars. I see my friend Bubba from uh, works at Walmart. Bubba gives me a lot of good scoops on what's going around, uh, going on in town. Those guys are just coming back from fishing. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Going to go over and... Uh, Check on the barbecue cook-off and see how that's going. See if they got uh, a lot of people in there party, partying up. Yeah, pretty good crowd. All the parking space. Well, not all, huh? Saturday night's the big night for uh, the cook-off. Yeah, they got a lot of people in there. That's good. Hopefully they'll make some money and uh, people eat some good barbecue. 
Hey guys, thanks for riding along today. I appreciate you. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Let's do it again tomorrow. <laughs> like and subscribe. Check the description for my contact info. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks.